Gentlemen, it is to remedy a deficit that has caused so much comment in Europe that His Majesty has sought to hear your views. Who are those gentlemen in black? But how? Representatives of the Third further, Estate, Your Highness. Can I omit to pay homage what is the Third Estate? French genius? All those who are neither nobles nor priests. Is that With many the people? Mm -hmm. of balancing the budget. It is therefore right and proper that I make known to you in some detail the absolute necessity of this financial assistance to which you owe the precious advantage of being convened by His Majesty. That each of the three orders meets in separate session. That the third estate place their trust in the nobility and the clergy and that those later will respect the wishes already expressed in all quarters of the country for a willing and universal abandonment of their advantages. It's hard to Versailles, but it's comfortable without costing a fortune. Have a seat. Oh, I prefer the bed. If you don't mind, draw eggs. On the contrary. You're a lawyer now, they tell me. Like you. Except I made the mistake of setting up in Paris. Too many lawyers and not enough clients. They want you to vote by order? Is that it? The clergy and the nobility against the rest of us, making two votes against one. According to those rules, we'll always be the losers. Whereas if it is one man, one vote, we have a majority. But Necker is no fool. That's what he wants. He means well, but he's a banker, and a Swiss banker to boot. The trouble is, they don't live in the same world as the rest of us. So? So. It'll be enough if the poorest of the lower clergy come over to us. Then, if we don't get some promise of change, we won't come up with the money. Simple as that. Remember old peg leg at school? What is the third estate? <laughs> Nothing. And what does it want? Everything. <laughs> Louis Le Grand. <laughs> Seems a long time ago. But you haven't changed. Still as neat and tidy. Your hair as perfect as ever. My one indulgence. <laughs> but you too, you haven't changed the... Uh, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Defunctus seculo tibi viva. Tu venia misericordissime pietatis abstergi. Per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Amen. We must reject any accord with the Third Estate. We must continue to insist that all three orders sit separately. No. There's not a single man in that room with an ounce of sympathy for what we are trying to achieve. That surprises you. And you? 
my position lies between the hammer and the anvil. Otherwise, I would have joined you already. Oh, of course. If the king fails to understand their folly and make them understand it, he will be the loser. The abbot Sayers has the floor. Are we not the authentic voice of France? It is simple. We appeal once more to the nobles and the clergy to join with us. And if they still refuse, then they have forfeited their rights. And we, the Third Estate, constitute ourselves. In the name of the Almighty, gentlemen, you are welcome. who have so far joined them claim to represent 96% of the nation. They propose setting themselves up as a national assembly, regardless of your majesty's assent. It is exactly as I predicted. It seems to me, Monsieur Necker, that the best course open to me is to address a joint session of all three orders and inform them that their actions are illegal. Forgive me, sire. But I feel this is a situation which requires diplomacy rather than confrontation. You could be right. Confrontation is all that's left to us, Monsieur Necker. Confrontation and obedience by force, if necessary. Open up! Open up! The keys! Open the doors! Open them! Heaven's name, what is happening? Tell me. We're locked out by order of the king. It's an outrage! <laughs> to the court! To the tennis court! By his right! To the tennis court! Take an oath, here and now, never to separate until we have given France a constitution! I therefore declare void, illegal and unconstitutional the decisions of the so-called National Assembly, which has met regardless of my authority. I alone am the guardian of my people's well-being. And if you abandon me in this great enterprise, then you will be abandoned, not I. I order you to disperse at once and to present yourselves tomorrow morning in the appointed chambers of your own orders, there to resume your separate deliberations. <laughs> 